Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Space Engineers, the very first mod library episode. Yep, these are going to be a weekly series that I'm going to try to do where I spotlight the mods coming out on Space Engineers. Now, if you don't know, over the last week or so, they finally released modding support. Like, the, the one thing I have been so incredibly, incredibly excited for is modding support. And they released it. They've totally released it, and we've got some mods to showcase today. As you can see, our skybox is different. Now, mods have been implemented in Space Engineers for a while, but not in Steam Workshop. They weren't that easy to install. They are kind of a pain. But now, all you have to do is hit a subscribe button, and sure enough, two seconds later, you've got yourself some mods installed. It's really easy. It's incredibly easy. So I was trying to think, how am I going to do a series about spotlighting mods? How, how do I want to handle this? And I've decided to do them in packs. We'll probably do about four or five mods at a time. We'll move through them pretty quickly. I'll put some annotations probably on the screen so you can click to the mod that you're interested in or we can just jump into it. But the continuing series is going to be upgrading this Jedi Star Cruiser. Now this is a mod, or this is actually a ship it was designed by a Quake Shipyard Executive. That's a, uh, a guy over on Steam. Now, he made this a while back before they had the mirroring. So keep in mind, this was made way back in the day. And it hasn't been updated since, so it's missing a lot. Now, I've already done a little bit of work. I joined uh, with Gold Ducat. Um, he's got a channel. He's done a few things with me before. You guys have seen him here on the channel doing some, um, what was it? Star Trek Armada 3 Let's Plays. He did with me, we did a little bit of Unturned, but anyways. Uh, the idea is that with every mod episode that we spotlight, I will be doing an upgrade to this ship. Now, she's fairly hollow and she's got all vanilla blocks, and she hasn't been updated since before they added glass. So that's how long it has been. Now, you've already seen, I have uh, replaced the top here with pistons. That was a recent update that they added, they added pistons in. These docking bay doors do open to reveal a giant... Uh, shuttle bay, just like the actual ship did in the show for the Clone Wars. Uh, the issue right now that I'm finding is there is a bug in Space Engineers where it doesn't save your your minimum distance on pistons. Uh, it actually seems to randomize them. So these doors, they do work, but I don't want to have to figure out what the minimum distance is again to get them to open. I will go ahead and open one of them for you so you guys can take a look at it. Um, this is my, my test control panel here. We actually built this last night. So let's open these bay doors. This isn't a mod, of course. This is just uh, showing off what where we're at with the ship right now. Let's reverse docking bay door one. I think that's the only one that's actually set up. And as you can see, the bay doors do open to reveal the shuttle bay down below. So pretty cool. That's our first upgrade. The ship needs a ton of upgrades, but let's get into the mods. Now this week we're spotlighting pretty much just one mod author. Uh, well, two, if you count the skybox. The skybox you're looking at is Lunar Orbit, and it is one of my favorites so far. And this is why, look at the moon. It's super high res and it just, oh, let me, let me walk around this ship here. You guys can get kind of scale. Whoop. We do have gravity on the ship and reactors are online, but look at that, look at that, look at that moon. It gets rid of that really low-res skybox texture that the game comes with, and we get a beautiful galaxy, stars, the moon, and we get Earth way off into the distance. Oh, I love it. And it's a one-click download. It takes like five seconds, and this this uh, build will actually be up live. I'll put a link to it. You guys can subscribe to it and try it out. It will auto-download all the mods that I use in it. It's going to be a fairly large file just so you know, but let's get to more mods. Now the rest of the mods are all made by one single guy and that's Darth Biomex. He's done some amazing stuff. And the first thing that I showed off when we started the episode was letters, VXP gamers, there we go. So more or less you can color these. Let's just grab some here. Let me open up my inventory because you got a lot of stuff installed, but there's how they show up in your build menu. They are set up for survival. Uh, they can be colored. And what do they take to make? Let's see here. They take an interior plate and construction components, and they all take the same thing. They've got all the letters, and they've got numbers, which is pretty sweet. And we'll just, I'll show you guys how they work here. Um, we'll just slap an H somewhere, shall we? Let's do this. You can change the colors, all kinds of stuff. Custom colors do work. If you hit P, you can go in here, and you can change saturation and, and get that bright lime green color that everybody wants. Sure, why not? There you go. Pretty cool. I love it. That means you can actually put, you know, the logo, the name of the ship on the side. Speaking of names, I'd like to know what you guys think. I was thinking of calling this ship the Endurance. Uh, 
But I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys think for names. If you got any cool ones. Maybe something with a little Star Wars lore to it. So, all right. Let's go ahead and remove that. And we'll get into the next mod. Be gone! Crazy letter. So the next mod is the Armored Thrusters. Now, I haven't actually put any of these down yet. Uh, one of the things with this build that I, I really don't like, and I don't like in most builds, is that the thrusters are built internally. Now, I'm playing with thruster damage on, and what that means is when you fire a thruster, it will destroy the heat coming out the back will actually destroy any blocks that get into the way for a certain distance. Now, these left and right wing sections are actually packed full of thrusters. Now, when I first started this uh, this upgrade, this overhaul of this ship, I had no idea that was the case. So, let's go down here. And, yeah. <laughs> you can see, that's how I found out. They blew out the bottom section. So, this is going to have to be renovated. We're going to have to remove all these because these will rip apart the interior of the ship. So, that's going to take some work. There's also a crap ton of gyroscopes back there. They're going to have to be moved around. So, one of the mods that are going to help me with this is interior, is armored thrusters. Not interior thrusters, armored thrusters. Here we go. Small armored thrusters. Small sloped. Now, it says small. But these are actually um, based on whatever block you're putting them on. And as you can see, we'll just drop one right here for now. In that, that green demo color that we'll be using. They are colored. You can't color them. It's literally a thruster built inside an armor block. And they look pretty damn good. I'm really, really excited about these. I love this idea. And they are set up for survival. They take a the same stuff that it takes to make a normal thruster, but uh, they take 80 more, what is it, six, no, they take more of the steel plates. So that's what it makes up for, is in plates. So it actually costs more armor to make it, which makes sense because it's an armored thruster. Uh, we'll go ahead and show off the other type real fast. There we go. So there you go, there's the block version of it. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to gut these type of engines out here and I'm going to replace them with the armored blocked versions because I do like this design um, and then we're going to go through the sides and remove those engines in the inside and actually line the uh, the outside of the hull with those engines so that's on my project list to do uh, all right so those are the armored thrusters highly recommend you download those uh, just so you guys can see real quick I've got a fighter in here we will show off the small version of it and then we'll get to the next build now this guy is such a talented mod author he's made some really cool stuff there's our fighter Jetpack on, let's just fly over here real quick. And there you go, let's just slap this bad boy on here. Actually, you know what, let's remove that. Let's shift P and grab the color off of this and remove these two thrusters and replace them with sexy. And I don't like how it's sticking out. Let's, let's, let's bury that like inside. Look at that, it's flush now, which you don't really get with the other thrusters. Isn't that cool? I think that's so cool. All right, so that is Armored Thrusters. Now let's move on to the next bit. Now the next bit is going to be, since we're already next to the fighter, a new cockpit design. It's the fighter cockpit. It's made by the same mod author. It is pretty fantastic. We're gonna grab it here. Um, one complaint that I've always had with the cockpit for the fighter, and there's always there's only been one cockpit, is that it doesn't look like a fighter's cockpit. It's very square. Now with this build, with this mod, let's remove these interior thrusters. And let's get rid of that. Let's see if we can fit this in here. Let's actually drop drop the landing gear. And look at that. Oh yeah. So this cockpit is a fighter cockpit. It's like an F-16 cockpit or F-22 cockpit. We we'll jump in here. More more X-wing, less construction ship. And he's textured the inside. I got my keyboard down there. And I like that it's a legit keyboard. It's not some futuristic, just a bunch of buttons that somebody made up. It actually makes sense. My control panels, and it's got great visibility. Look at this. Look at this, fully rendered, textured. I love the heads-up display, and it fits within Space Engineer's technology. I mean, it, it looks like the devs came up with this, really. And I, I love that. I think that's so, just so good. Oh, man, and it makes it, or already this fighter is looking better. I think I'm gonna keep working on this fighter. Um, keep enhancing this with mods. So we've got plenty of fighter bays in here for the carrier, as you can see. So we're gonna have to do some work on that. All right, so that is the fighter cockpit. Now all the links for these are download in the download below. Uh, next up, we've got the Titan engine. This is actually, oh yeah, this one is so badass. 
All right, now this was one, I actually had added this earlier, um, but we had messed up this ship. Uh, one of the rotors had broken off, and in multiplayer, and sometimes in single player, things just can get a little wonky, and my ship like flew off into space. It was, it was bad times. But these big engines here, these big center engines, are actually going to be replaced. And thankfully, the same mod author that came up with everything else here in today's spotlight came up with this, the Titan engine. I mean, look at this. We're just going to slap it on the back here. Look at this thing. Now, it does. it is set up for survival. Uh, it takes a ridiculous amount of resources, but that's because it is a lot of thrust packed into a small space. So let's look at the Titan engine requirements. Uh, it takes 2,000 thruster components. Now compare that to a large thruster, which I will find in a minute. Large thruster takes 960 thruster components. So it's twice as many in the way of resources. It is absolutely huge. It puts out a ton of thrust and it's really, really detailed. Like, look at that, I love it. That's so cool. And then you actually see where they probably, you might want to consider this section here is interior. I guess it doesn't really have to be. Uh, it's got the mount points on the bottom so you can rotate it and mount it onto the wall of your ship, which is what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to remove these big black sections. I'm going to rotate this 45 degrees so those big plates are actually attached to the sidewall here, kind of like this thruster is. So now you get the big thrusters for big ships like this. And it's actually the perfect size. So we're going to remove those sections there and place two of those in the center. One on that spot and one on that spot. So, all right, guys, I believe that is everything. Now, these Titan engines do take three large reactors to run. But that is our first mod library for Space Engineers. I'm going to be pumping these out hopefully weekly, if not faster, if uh, mods come out quickly enough. And we'll get to see this ship get upgraded and more and more advanced with every mod that I find that comes out. So it should be fun. And we'll be able to really put Space Engineers to the test. How many mods can we handle in this game? They're really easy to install. This is the time to get into Space Engineers. Uh, it's it's pretty legit now. I mean, the game is coming along. What we need now is just some net code for the server side. And uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be real good. So let's get one, one last shot of the ship here before we go. And a final shot, a flyby, of the ship after I've done a little work and added those engines, which I'll edit in right now. All right, guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for modding and gaming goodness. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.